How would you describe the second half of the season as we return in like three words? What would you choose to sort of... It is a thrill ride. It is, you know, we spend about half the episode in those elevators that got stuck and we found new ways to use the elevators after 15 seasons, which I think was was uh, incredible on the part of Bill Harper who wrote the episode. And uh, he just came in and pitched this just wild uh, episode and it's, um, so it's really fun. It's really exciting. It's really moving in the end. I'll talk about Teddy. Yeah. In the mid-season finale, she maybe picked a not great time <laughs> to drop a bomb. You know? But who does pick a good time to drop a bomb? I mean, everyone keeps saying, why did you wait? I mean, there was no good time and it's complicated. And I didn't, I kind of jumped your question, no. but what was your question? I was, well, now she's trapping the elevator She's trapped in this love triangle of sorts. What is the road ahead for these three? And what can you tease about that? I think what's so exciting about this love triangle is that really from the get-go, we wanted it to be a little bit different and not be like this catty woman against woman, like, let's get that man. And because that's so kind of un Grey's Anatomy. Um, and it's so... I don't know, we wanted something different and I, I, and also I love Katarina so much and I love the Amelia character and I didn't want it to be like Teddy was coming in here and she's pregnant and getting her. So I think what's so incredible about this love triangle is that it's very different from any love triangle that I've seen and I feel like it's really uh, representational of uh, our modern world and the way their families are kind of coming together. And so while it has all the excitement and kind of like insanity, of a love triangle, we're kind of speaking a different language and trying trying something different, um, which is really exciting to me. And you know, and we're adding another element into it, which I'm not going to give away, but it's really cool. And you, you know, um, it just adds even more complications to it. Um, but the writers are so clever, and Krista's so clever at um, you know layering on all of this. Um, messiness and richness and um and it, there's just some really awesome depth that's coming with them but also like some really funny stuff which is hard to do yeah. and that's because the writers are so good but we were just shooting a scene with four of us <laughs> it's really awkward and funny and complicated and everyone's having some different emotions and a, a lot of feels quintessential great stuff Quintessential Grays. <laughs> Tell me what is in store for this love triangle, this little modern family. What is what's happening? It's it's changing every day. We don't know. It's messy. It's, it's messy. Really messy. Yeah, matters of the heart and the womb. <laughs> 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 like it was messy before, but now there's. It's really messy. It's now. super messy. Yeah, it's like it's grown arms and legs. It's like yeah, there's it's become teenagers, this babies. Teenagers and, yeah, it's 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 cool because we don't know where it's going, yeah. you know, and it's going to create a lot of challenges, I think, for Owen and Amelia. It's yeah. kind of um, there's so many people involved at this point. Yeah, We're <laughs> and they've only just like they're really in a good place. It's kind of heartbreaking right. that they're in such a good place, yeah. and it's like uh, this kind of atomic bomb is yeah. going to hit them. All of these hits, and I don't, I don't, I hope they survive, but who knows, you know.